Hey y'all, welcome, come on in. This is my home office where I get all my work done. Come on in. Oh, wait. Okay, this is my home office. Hi there, welcome. I'm Taylor. Let me just roll on over here. Today, I'm going to be touring my home office remote software engineering development YouTube studio setup. And I'm doing this because I don't have any YouTube ideas for this week. So what do YouTubers do when they don't have any video ideas? They make setup videos, which is what I'm gonna do today, and it's gonna be super exciting. So stay tuned, strap in, and let's take a look at my remote work setup. Okay, first and foremost, the most important part of a remote work setup is the fake plant. This is Henry, um, and whenever I struggle with the engineering problem, I talk to Henry and he's a very good listener and then I usually figure it out. So uh, that's that's part one. <laughs> video over actually that's the whole video. Uh, Henry makes the whole setup. That's all you need to be a remote developer is you need a fake plant named Henry and you're good to go. No I'm just kidding. Okay the next thing is for real this time. Uh, my remote work laptop. This is my work laptop. It's a 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch. It has a 8th gen i7, 16 gigs of RAM, like 128 gigs of storage. It's it's not a lot. And uh, I, it's, it's a good little computer. It has served me well for about four years now. Um, I've written a lot of code on this and it's held up pretty nicely, although it is getting a tad slow. The good thing is, is the keyboard has held up pretty well on this thing, which is the main issue with these kinds of laptops is the keyboards go bad. But I usually am using this keyboard, which is the Logitech MX Keys. I use this keyboard pretty much all the time. I do have a mechanical keyboard, but I just like this one. Like it feels so nice. It integrates very nicely with Mac OS. It has like all the function buttons up top. And because this laptop has the touch bar, this comes in so handy because I hate the touch bar. I like the physical buttons. I like the physical escape key. So I use this keyboard and the backlighting is so cool. Like it's so good at palm detection. Whenever you put your hands up to it, it illuminates. It's very nice. So I use that. And then I have the uh, mouse to accompany it. This is the Logitech MX mouse, uh, the three, this is the three. And it's awesome, I, I love this thing. It's, um, it's held up very well and I don't have any connection problems with it. I can just connect it right to my laptop and it works. It's got like a cool little scroll wheel. So if I scroll fast, it's like super smooth. But if I scroll slow, it's bumpy. And I love that, that is so nice and it has the little horizontal scroll on the side here. It's just, it's very, it's a very nice mouse. Um, what else do I have? Uh, under here, I have a JavaScript book <laughs> because I'm a JavaScript developer. And uh, to be honest, this was just sitting on my desk. I don't just like uh, always read this thing. It seems I have a bookmark with uh, RAM. This is literally laptop RAM that I'm using as a bookmark and in my JavaScript books. Anyways, another thing is I have Vault Tech. This is uh, Vault Boy. You've probably seen him in pretty much all my videos. I think he makes an appearance in all of them. And uh, this guy is kind of special because he is the science Vault Boy. I got him in like a Best Buy mystery box and I was kind of hoping I got the science one because while I'm not a scientist, I'm more of an engineer, I'm a software engineer. Uh, I do have a degree in science, so I kind of wanted the science vault boy. And I unboxed it and it was a science vault boy. Pretty cool. Um, I also have a lens cap for my camera. This is, this is a very uh, raw desk setup. I mean, I did a little bit of cleanup, 
but not much. Like I have my remote for my teleprompter, which I rarely use. I'm not using a teleprompter now. I'm just kind of going off script. And yeah, this is the remote for my teleprompter that I had just have on my desk. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I have my camera. Obviously not the camera I'm using right now, but this is my a7R4. This is what I use to take all my Instagram photos, which by the way, if you didn't know, I have an Instagram. And if you want to follow my Instagram, there's a link in the description and you should because, um, yeah, photography is like kind of dead and I need followers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't need followers. If you want to check out my Instagram, check it out below. This is what I use for my Instagram. It's a great camera. It, it's got the megapixels. This is like 60 megapixels, insane photos. I can basically like take a photo from across the street and crop in and it's and it's just a, a regular, it doesn't even look, it looks like I'm right there. It's, it's crazy. Um, and then I have a lens. This is a uh, kit lens, 28 to 70 uh, variable, variable zoom lens. And uh, it, it's, actually better than I thought it was going to be, but it is a kit lens and it works pretty well. I love it. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. I have a Samsung drive, which I use for a variety of things. Mainly I use it to offload work from my video side of things when I'm making YouTube videos because I have a terabyte in my uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro, which isn't a whole lot. So I offload it to this one terabyte Samsung T7 drive just to kind of give it a little bit more extra memory. And I also have a Velcro in the back so I can stick it, you know, wherever I want. Um, next is a GoPro mount. Don't know why I have that. I have a camera cleaning cloth so that I can clean off my lens, which is very dirty. I did not clean this off. So there we go. Now it's nice and clean. Camera lens cleaner must have for remote desktop software engineering work. Um, then I have a polarizer, which I'm just now realizing I should probably have on this camera. Oh, that's way too dark. Okay, never mind. I don't need this. This is probably why it's just laying on my desk, but I have it here. And then next is my 16 inch MacBook Pro, which I don't use for my day-to-day -day work. This is just my hobbyist computer for making YouTube videos and taking pictures, but I love it. And if you wanna see how much I love this laptop, check out my latest video where I did a long-term review of this laptop. It's a great machine. I absolutely love it. It's got so much power and it's gonna last me a very long time. And to accompany it, I have the 27 inch Apple Studio display. I've been using this monitor every single day since I've got it and I love it. Every time I look at it, it blows me away. The colors, the resolution, the speakers, the, the looks of it. I mean, the, the bezels are a little chunky, but I get over it. It's amazing. It is an amazing monitor. Don't believe anyone who tells you that it's not amazing. This is an amazing monitor and it just shut off, but there it is. Look at that. It's so cool. And there's my desktop. <laughs> I'm watching YouTube. So I now use this monitor for work and for um, just hobbies, entertainment, does all the things. What's next? On my laptop, I am using the Rain Design M Stand 360, which I put my laptop on and it swivels 360 degrees. It's very convenient for just kind of like moving around my laptop, have it as a stand so it kind of like is a little bit level with my monitor and not just flat on the desk. I also have a case for my polarizer, which the polarizer filter should go in the case so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, next I have the DT990 Pro open back headphones, which I use for Zoom calls and listening to music. And these things are probably my oldest pair of headphones. Gosh, I've had these for like 
nine years now. These are amazing headphones. And I'm just really surprised that they've held up. I mean, I have a cat who loves to eat cords and these so far have not been affected. Knock on wood. Hopefully my cat doesn't eat these. Nova, if you're watching this, don't eat these headphones. Okay, and moving on, I am a little far away from the camera, so I'm gonna pick you guys up and I'm going to move you over here so you can see what else I have. I have a Rode Podcast. This is the Rode Podcaster. And I have this as like an audio interface, like I connected my headphones here. I use this as an audio interface for like, zoom calls <laughs> and to be honest it's a little overkill um do i need this no but the audio processing is great and it has like these little custom buttons over here that you can press and have sounds attached to them like it's, it's kind of fun is it necessary no i also have a cam link connector and this is super helpful oh camera focus this is super helpful because it allows me to connect my um, camera as a webcam for like Zoom calls, which I mount up here to, to this little thing. Just put my camera on there and it's like a little L arm that's attached to my desk. So uh, that's really cool. And here's what the perspective looks like. Although there would be like a camera there. So just imagine that there's a camera there and then that's what it looks like. There's also a Western Digital hard drive here. This is just like a mechanical hard drive. I have some like Velcro thingies on it so I can attach it to my desk or wherever. This is an eight terabyte drive and I usually use it to offload all my YouTube videos onto because like I said, I have a terabyte of storage on my laptop isn't very much so it fills up quickly like after like four or five videos and this is where i store everything although this is filling up too so i probably need to get another one i also have this little guy this is cool it's like a little uh retro machine and it has like a bunch of games on it and i use this whenever i'm like need to think or take a break i'll just kind of use this and play some games. It's uh, pretty cool. Let's see if I can like start one here. Yeah, so like, it's got like some sounds and uh, it's a full color display. Let's see if I can see that. Here we go. But yeah, I just use that from time to time. If I have a height button here, I don't really use that because it's kind of annoying. I have a remote for my lights. For some of my YouTube videos, it gets pretty dark and I'll use that to control my lights. And I have my phone. This is uh, my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this phone is amazing. I love it. It has served me really well. And it takes amazing photos and videos. I've used it for a lot of my B-roll. It works great. And then I guess one last thing is I have this blue microphone. Um, I don't remember the name. Oh, this is the Spark. It's the blue Spark microphone. And again, I use this for Zoom calls <laughs> and I don't really need to, but uh, the, the sound quality is amazing. It's, it's a really, really great mic. It connects via this XLR here. Uh, and I have it on like a Samson kind of arm so that it, so it can move and pivot. It's really nice. And it's also really cool for using with games. And speaking of games, behind me, or behind my desk, not behind me, is the my gaming PC. So I have it down there. If I go down there, here's my gaming PC. It's just kind of out of the way. And whenever I want to play games, I just hook them up and usually hook it up to this guy. And then I also have a cabinet down here where I just store kind of random stuff. Like this, 
Uh, I got my uh, little notebook here. I usually have this on my desk. I don't know why it's not on my desk now. And I just kind of have, whoop, that fell in there. This is where I just kind of like take notes for either work or YouTube videos, ideas. And we'll just put that back in there. And oh yeah, over here is where my gaming monitor is. And sadly, it just kind of sits here because I really use that monitor all the time for gaming. It's kind of a hassle to switch them, but it is 120 hertz. It is an Alienware RGB. Um, it's not 120 hertz, it's 240 hertz. What am I saying? It's 240 hertz, 1440p. Uh, it's an amazing monitor and I don't really use it. I don't game all that often as much as I used to. This is my backpack. It is a Herschel backpack. I really like it because it's got like a, like a cool red pattern in there. It's pretty cool. And oh yes, I also have an APC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the AP, it's a UPC, but the brand is APC. And this is like my battery backup where I plug all my stuff in so that if power goes out, then I have a reliable power source. You never know with the uh, power in Texas, so it's good to have this. And then here, I got these recently. Oh, I went to DreamHack and I got some posters. Let me show you guys, because I, I really want to put these up on my wall, because I don't have anything on my wall. So I got this poster. I got this one. I love that one, because it's like, that one's super cute. Like, look at the cat, it's eating ramen, it's happy. I can't wait to put these up on my wall. And I ordered frames that have RGB lighting, which these are, these are like plexiglass and they're backlit transparent. So I can put a light behind it. Oh, hey, Kiki. Kiki likes the ramen poster too. But I can put a backlight on it and it lights up. It's really cool looking. I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys that. And then moving on to my third poster that I got is Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil Village. One very important thing that I didn't mention is my desk. This is an Ikea Gallant. And I've had this for a very long time too, like maybe eight years. And it's a non-standing desk. So that is one thing I am in need of an upgrade for is a standing desk because I sit at this thing all day and when I stand up, it's kind of awkward because I'm like way up here. This is my chair. It is a Serta chair from like Office Max, I think, or Office Depot, whichever one. And it's got like nice plush sides. It's pretty comfortable. Uh, it's got a bunch of holes in the top where my cat, he likes to lay up here. It doesn't really have great lumbar support, so I'm probably gonna be crippled by the time I'm like 40 years old. It's got armrest, which I went so long with a chair that didn't have armrest, so I'm very thankful I have those. This has been my setup video. You gotta see my work laptop, my YouTube laptop, my setup that I'm working with, and that's my home office tour. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to leave a comment or feedback or let me know what kind of accessories you're rocking in your home office, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to share this video with your friends, hit that share button, share it out, share it everywhere, share it to the world, <laughs> whatever you want to do. It's up to you, but I'm glad that you stuck around and watched and I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.